You know, the major point of round one was sort of proof of technology. Can we capture a sound and can we change a TV channel? Anytime you have an idea where you have to make something uh, and there's technology involved, um, there's always going to be hurdles. Um, I think for us it was uh, making sure that it works as a remote control and that it worked on people's TVs, uh, that the sound made it happen. So we started out by making a prototype. We took a model of the horn and printed on a 3D printer. And then we um, got some electronics, we got a microphone plugged into an Arduino, which is just a little microcontroller that we can program. We captured the sound, it feeds into a microchip that uh, figures out that the sound is actually the horn being blown. And then it sends a signal via uh, infrared LED, just like your remote control for a TV to the cable box or to your TV to change the channel to uh, Bean Sports. So it started as all boring traditional presentation start. The, the difference was we had the TV blurring with really, really bad, like housewives of whatever playing. Um, and then uh, one of the guys got up and blew the horn and changed the channel to the client's sports network because it is based on a fundamental insight that all soccer fans and football fans around the globe understand and that is when you want to watch a football you don't want anything to get in your way. Soccer fans have always also been sort of left behind. They've become the stepchildren of American sports and um, they don't always get to watch soccer because for a long time it wasn't shown everywhere and not everyone could uh, get their dose of soccer. This device uh, allows them to do that even if their friends or their girlfriends or their spouses are watching something else. Now they have, uh, they have control of what they can watch.